After this video, you will know if Cartagena could be a spot for you to be an expat in. So in this video, I will break down my personal opinion if Cartagena or for who Cartagena could be the perfect expat destination. We will break it down in first we will do a little sequence where we show what Cartagena is and how it looks like. Then we will compare some pros and cons and after that I will tell you my personal uh, opinion on who I think could be a perfect fit for Cartagena. of what Cartagena is all about. Um, so we start with the pros of Cartagena. So Cartagena, one of the biggest pros that Cartagena has, of course, is the historic vibe, uh, the nice building. It's, it's just an overall uh, beautiful place. Another pro, of course, that there are a lot of things to do. So you can go to the beach, you can stroll around in the historic center, um, you can go and drink uh, something in a bar and get semani. And yeah, a lot of different things to do. Of course, uh, the Cartagena is quite touristic, so that, yeah, that makes it that it has a lot of uh, activities in, in Cartagena. The one pro certainly is that many people, because of the nat uh, touristic nature of the town, speak English, especially where probably you will uh, mingle around. So this is really a pro of Cartagena as well. Then another thing, of course this could be a pro or a con, uh, however you like it, we put it here as a pro. Uh, there are a lot of foreigners already in Cartagena. Uh, in the sense of that they're expats or of course uh, the many tourists that flock into the city uh, every year. And really one of my favorites of Cartagena is that you have the Caribbean vibe. Maybe not so much in the historic center. The historic center for me is more like a playground. It's more like uh, Ocean World in, in, uh, in Orlando or Disney World or something like that. It doesn't have a lot to do with really the outside world of Cartagena inside of the touristic center. So of course you don't have to pay entry but yeah for me it's I compare it a little bit uh, to that. But you can go outside and there are a lot of islands, a lot of beaches and if you drive for an hour or something like that you can find more or less secluded beaches uh, with the real true Caribbean vibe. And the last pro on our list is traffic. So of course you have a little bit of traffic uh, in Cartagena, it's yeah, a bigger town, uh, but traffic is not too bad, so I put that as a uh, pro too. So the cons of living in, uh, in Cartagena, of course, the number one thing is heat, the heat in Cartagena. So we have uh, 34 degrees Celsius, which is around 95, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's hot and it's humid. If you don't like the heat, then yeah, don't put Cartagena on your, uh, on your destinations list. It's really, really hot there. And the other thing is, of course, the rainy season. So during the rainy season, this is the tropics. Uh, it rains a lot. Uh, yeah, so this is just one con of, uh, of Cartagena. Then another thing is the public transport. The public transport is not really too developed, it's not really too good. They have buses, but they're quite crowded, especially during uh, the rush hour. Um, yeah, and, and not really a very, very good uh, public transport system, so you probably be around in taxis uh, or you have your own car in Cartagena. So another thing are the mosquitoes. So this just comes with, uh, as Cartagena is a tropical destination, 
Um, you will have mosquitoes, there are some reports of dengue every year, of Zika and all that kind of stuff. Uh, malaria should not be really a problem in Cartagena, but yeah, this is a con too. And then another con which really bothered me, that's why Cartagena wouldn't be a destination for me. I would prefer Santa Marta, it's quite similar, Santa Marta in Colombia, but it's quite similar, but it does not have too many tourists. Cartagena is especially in the cent uh, historic center and in uh, Boca Grande, which are the most common spots for expats, overrun with tourists. This is just the truth. Yeah, there are a lot of tourists and as you might know, or this is uh, really my opinion, if you have too many tourists in, in, in one city, it takes out the vibe, it's the, the, the short term thinking of many tourists just go there, uh, have a great time and then go back and nobody will uh, ever recognize you there and, and stuff like that. Just doesn't help the city with the vibe and, and yeah, and just the overall quality of living if you're uh, a permanent, uh, if you live permanently there. And another thing which is a con for me is that you will be perceived as a foreigner there. Uh, because uh, people are, are uh, in general darker, uh, with darker skin. Uh, of course this just applies uh, to you if, you if you're white or yeah, if you don't look really Latin. So uh, you will be perceived as a, a foreigner there and people try to take advantage of you. Of course, this is all around Latin America, but in Cartagena especially, it's it's quite different. Here where I live, for example, imagine I don't stick out. Uh, I will be perceived in, when I don't speak Spanish as a, a, a Colombian. So yeah, this is really a, a negative point for me as well in, in, uh, in Cartagena, which I wouldn't like if I would uh, live permanently there. So we have two points that are not really positive and not really negative. Uh, the one is doing business in Cartagena. So if you want to do business, it can be a good spot or it can be a bad spot. The good spot, of course, if you do want to do anything with tourism, Cartagena will have your clients. If you want to do anything else than tourism, there will be probably better options around there, uh, around in Latin America than Cartagena. And then the other thing is cost of living. If you compare cost of living to like Panama City, Costa Rica or stuff like that, it will be cheaper or way cheaper. But when you compare it to like Santa Marta, which is quite a well, quite similar town, or uh, Medellin or Quito in Ecuador or something like that, the cost of living is around 30-40% higher. So yeah, from whatever angle you look at it, it can be a pro or it can be a con. So who do I see personally, my personal opinion on a good fit for to be an expert in Cartagena? There are more or less two or three types. Uh, one type is surely the, uh, the expert that doesn't live in a foreign country uh, full time. So maybe for three months, for six months or something like that. If you want to extend your summer or you want to uh, flee the winter in like New York, New Jersey, Chicago or something like that and just want to have a great time for a part of the year in a magical town where you can do stuff where it's very different uh, like your hometown, Cartagena could be perfect for you. This could be retirees or like a digital nomad or stuff like that. I could very good see uh, that being a very good fit. Then the other thing is if you want to do something uh, tourism business type, like open a hostel, open a restaurant, something like that, uh, Cartagena could be a good full-time uh, destination for you. Uh, yeah, but for everything else, I don't quite see too many people getting uh, happy in Cartagena. And to be happy there, like, uh, this is really have to be like the beach type guy. Uh, like if you like Miami, if you like Florida, uh, or if you consider to, to move to the Dominican Republic, to Puerto Rico, um, to Cancun or, or something like that, Panama City, then you can consider Cartagena. But any, yeah, as I said, any, anything else like that, I don't, I'm not quite sure if, if somebody will be too happy in Cartagena. There are a lot of more options throughout uh, all of Latin America. 
So if you're still unsure about if Cartagena is the right place for you uh, or you don't really know uh, which destination in Latin America could be the best for you, we offer a free country test. It's called country test, but it really uh, we will help you find the right city for you. So just fill it out, it's quite fun and then we give you a personal opinion on which top three cities we think is best for you. And if you want to find out more about Cartagena, we have a video where we talk about the, the most common neighborhoods for expats in Cartagena. You will find it up here. I hope uh, this video helped you to decide if Cartagena could be for you or not. If you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe and we would love if you, if you like the video that you leave a like. See you next time.